Rain doesn't come out of nowhere. Believe it or not, thanks to the water cycle, rain pours every now and then to keep our ecosystem alive. But how does the water cycle around the system? The process starts at the body of water and ends up on a body of water. Evaporation first takes place when the sun heats up the body of water and turns it into water vapor, the gas form of water molecules. These molecules rise up to the atmosphere and gets cooled down in a process called condensation. When water vapor rises and cools, it gets converted to water droplets and eventually into clouds. It's a complicated process, but let's look at it this way. Let's say you're reading while running glasses in an air-conditioned coffee shop. As you take a sip from your mug of hot coffee, the steam fogs your glasses and makes your vision blurry. This is what condensation is. It defines the process of water vapor being converted back into water droplets. Clouds form just like that. They're all composed of water droplets condensed in the sky. But when it becomes heavy, they precipitate. Precipitation occurs when clouds become too heavy because of water droplets. In other words, this is the process of rain clouds forming. Rain clouds become darker because the amount of water droplets block the sunlight passing through. In places that are near the equator, the rain only pours when precipitation happens. However, in places closer to the North and South Pole, rain, hail, and snow could happen when this process occurs. When rain occurs, water falls on land, ocean, or basins to be collected and used. Rain benefits all living things in order to continue the cycle of life, to hydrate plants and animals. Water that went from the ocean and goes back to the ocean returns to its original form in order to go around the cycle again. This never-ending cycle is essential to all life on this planet. In the case that it stops somewhere, life on Earth might as well fade away. Visit powerplayedulab.com to learn more about our primary science programs for your child.